This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 114. How to Guarantee Victory Against the Motivation Monster, part two, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hey, it's Dr. Neil. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily. A very happy Thursday, almost to the weekend, almost to the holiday. This is where I read to you from some of the best health and fitness blogs out there. Today is actually a continuation from yesterday's post. Sometimes I break them up into smaller bits so that these episodes stay relatively short. So if you're new here or browsing around, you should probably listen to Wednesday's episode first before hearing this one. That's episode 113. Now with the Christmas holiday only three days away, I did in fact get some shopping done yesterday. I feel a little bit better, but I still have lots to do. So I'm gonna record this and then head back out. So I'm gonna keep this intro short. Let's get this going and start optimizing your life. How to Guarantee Victory Against the Motivation Monster, Part 2, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Keep your new habit rolling. Every single day for the next month, you're going to schedule a 30-minute block of time for exercise and never miss it. I don't care that Christmas and New Year's Eve is right around the corner. Use those 30 minutes to sweat out the gallons of Bud Light you drank. Your body will thank me later. Newton taught us that a body at rest tends to stay at rest, and a body in motion tends to stay in motion. If exercise is a brand new concept to you, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get the ball rolling and keep it rolling. You're so used to feeding the motivation monster that it won't go quietly. However, put in a week or two of consistent exercise, drop a few pounds, and that inertia that once kept you stopped will keep you going. Science for the win. A lot of people ask, when's the best time to work out? And my response is always, whenever works best for you. If you want a more specific and personal answer, however, I would go with first thing in the morning. At the end of the day, it seems like there are 10 times the number of obstacles and distractions trying to drag you down. For example, traffic jams. Staying late at work to finish a report. Problem with your kid's homework. Wife, girlfriend, husband, boyfriend wants to go out to dinner to celebrate some anniversary that you probably forgot. Whoops. For these reasons, I found that exercising first thing in the morning works best. Obviously, this requires waking up at least 30 minutes earlier, which probably sounds like the worst effing thing in the world to you right now. But you know what? For the first few days, yeah, it is pretty creepy. That monster is extra hungry. Your bed sheets are extra nice and warm, and foregoing sleep for sweat sounds stupid. For all of you saying, I'm not a morning person, when was the last time you gave it a shot? I'm not talking a day or two of early rising and then calling it quits either. Give yourself a full week of waking up early before you give up. Now, if you're willing to give the morning thing a shot, there are quite a few tricks to getting up earlier that help a lot. Mehdi over at stronglifts.com has written an incredible post on how to wake up early. I highly recommend you read the whole thing. If I had to single out one tip that has saved my ass more times than I can count, It's this, put your alarm clock across the room. Ever since high school, my alarm clock has been as far away from my bed as possible. I can't reach up and hit snooze, so I have to physically get up out of bed to turn it off. If you're a snoozer and you wanna start waking up earlier, this will probably change your life. Now let's say you've managed to crawl out of bed 30 minutes early. What the heck do you do now? Get your heart pumping, jump rope, do the nerd fitness beginner bodyweight workout, walk the dog, go for a run, etc. Whatever it is that gets you moving, do it. This is now your new habit, and soon enough, it will become part of who you are. Stay inspired. Once you have something to hope for, something to look forward to, and a habit you're going to fix, the next thing you need to do is find a way to stay motivated. The monster inside you never sleeps and is always hungry, so you need to constantly fill yourself up with motivational awesomeness so the well never runs dry. I found that the best way to stay motivated is to have a go-to library of quotes and videos for whenever the situation requires it. Here are some of the quotes and videos that keep me going. Quote, get busy living or get busy dying. I have this quote hanging on the wall in my bedroom. It's the first thing I see every morning before going to work and it's the last thing I see at night before going to bed. It reminds me to be thankful every day for what I have, but to constantly strive for more. It's this quote that keeps me writing for nerd fitness and it's this quote that helps me push myself beyond my limits. Where the hell is Matt? 
I watch this video on a weekly basis. There's a whole world out there for me to see. And that working as hard as possible at Six Man, my day job, and working as hard as possible at Nerd Fitness will eventually allow me to see these places and have stories of my own. If you have any desire to travel and or start a small business, I also highly recommend reading Chris Guillebeau's blog as he is one of the best in the business at travel hacking and inspiring people, myself included, to create legitimate small businesses. 300. If I have time, I'll watch the movie. If not, I'll just watch the trailer. These dudes are in such peak physical condition and kick so much ass that after watching, all I want to do is lift weights, train in the wilderness, and yell things like, this is Sparta, when kicking people into bottomless pits. This movie has shown us what's possible in terms of human physical perfection, if you're willing to work for it. As they say, quote, appearance is a consequence of fitness. 40 inspirational speeches in two minutes. If there were an Oscar for editing awesome movies into awesome YouTube clips, Matthew Belinke would have my vote. This video is guaranteed to immediately inspire you while simultaneously beating down the motivational monster in you. Remember, folks, there's more to this life than sitting behind a desk until you're 65. Life is happening right now, not tomorrow. Life doesn't care that it's cold, dark, or rainy. Therefore, you can't either. You just listened to part two of the post titled How to Guarantee Victory Against the Motivation Monster by Steve Camp of nerdfitness.com. It's funny because some of the stuff Steve mentioned are things that I actually do. When I need motivation to work out, I will pop in 300. He's absolutely right. It's one of those movies where if you even watch just a little bit of it, you're just pumped and ready to go to the gym. And the inspirational quotes. I do the same thing. I kind of keep them all around the house, especially places I frequent. And I find these that, you know, realistically, it doesn't always translate to action, but I found that it just sometimes puts me in a better mood or puts things in perspective. So I like a lot of these tips Steve mentioned. Now, if you want to help keep this podcast alive and well, we have a how to help page set up at our website, oldpodcast.com. You can contribute financially to keep things running, or if you're not able to at this time, we understand the holidays are here. There are a bunch of other things listed there that you can do to help us out. We'd greatly appreciate it. Again, you can visit oldpodcast.com and look for the how to help page, or you can go straight to oldpodcast.com slash support. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow for our usual Friday Q&A episode where I answer your questions. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us, and remember, your optimal life awaits.